Well, good morning, folks. It is a beautiful morning out here. Uh, I'm out here on the creek, by the way. And to start with, I wanted to thank y'all for everything y'all done, and thank you for spending a few hours with me. Today, I want to share a couple baits, which I have a lot that I love to fish with in creeks. As far as artificials go, well, there's a lot of them that's productive. But these are a couple baits that I really feel like that's real productive here in North Alabama. All right, my first one right here, I tell you, I've caught a lot of fish off of this. This is an old bait. It's a Rapala, and I believe it's two and a half centimeters long. This is the floating model. Um, uh, folks, I've used this bait right here for years, ever since I was a kid, and they're still making them the same. And today, I'm going to be chancing it. I'm going to be using four-pound test line. I'm going to be using a Fluger Precedent, real small reel, has seven ball bearings, real smooth reel. And this is an old Shakespeare rod, five and a half feet long and uh, light action. Now, uh, being it's real early in the morning, I'm gonna start off with this little bait right here. We're gonna twitch it on top to see what we can catch. Now, um, there's a lot of different species of fish in creeks that loves this bait. Anything from pan fish to bass. Very effective bait. Let's get in here and see what we can do. All right, let's make us a cast with it. I'm just going to make a short cast right here. Now, this bait right here, I look here, I done got a bite already. <laughs> that was a small, I was a little panfish. Doggone, he eat that. Uh, I made another cast, okay. Usually, I'll let it sit there until the ripples die down and just twitch it like that. Them are little bitty fish, right? Ah, we almost had him. Y'all see that? I'm gonna get down here just a little bit lower. We got some fish right here. I guarantee you that was a pan fish. Little bluegill, probably, but twitch. Twitch, twitch. Let it sit there. Twitch. Twitch, twitch. Let it sit there. I'm fixing to get bit. Twitch. Twitch, 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 twitch. <laughs> I just work it kind of like in a cadence. Like I try to make it look real. Let's make this another cast. Real long cast. They're being a little bit aggravating right here, to tell you the truth. Twitch, 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 twitch. Eat it, boy, twitch. It's a wonder if a bass hadn't already eat it. There we go, there's a fish. Oh, it's hung up, there he come out of there. Let's see what we got. Okay, first fish of the day. That's a green sunfish. Now, quit. Panfish will hit this bait short, even though it's small. A lot of times, I don't know why, you have to figure out how, how to work it for them to commit. A lot of times it's fast, a lot of times it's slow, but that's a little green sunfish, ain't he pretty? Ah! They got beautiful little orange fins. That's what gives them away. All green sunfish I have this pretty little orange fin right here. Ain't that pretty, let's let him go. Alright, 
let's make us another cast out there. What it is, there's a lot of rocks right out in front of me. Twitch, 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 twitch. I may have to move it quick like that so they can't get a real good look at the bait. The water's real clear. Even these small baits, a lot of times you have to move them pretty quick. If they're not in a real good bite and mood, y'all see that? What do we got here? I believe it's a little small mouth. You have to move it quick a lot of times so they don't get a real good look at it. Yeah, that's a little small mouth. What about that? You could tell he was. As soon as I set the hook, he comes straight up. Little small jowl. But you talking about catching a lot of fish. This little bait right here will catch a lot of fish. Ain't that pretty? And that's a baby. But he didn't hit like a baby. He nailed that bait. Let's let him go. Go on back in there. We're gonna have to move around today, but I'm gonna try to catch some pretty good fish on this if I can. There we go. There's a fish. Boy, they love these little baits like this. Let's see what we got. Look at here. Quit. Ain't that pretty. That's a hybrid, folks. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that. You got to watch them little hooks. Ow. <laughs> That's a hybrid. This fish is mixed between a red breast sunfish and a bluegill. And I'll tell you why. He looks just like a red breast sunfish, but he don't have that red, real red, definite orange pattern on him is what I'm trying to say. I'll get it out in a minute. You can catch some interesting fish in a creek, especially a creek. Uh, they'll intertwine, no doubt. But he's pretty, ain't he? Let's let him go. Goodbye there. This little bait right here looks just exactly like the forage that's in here. That's why I like it. The gold ones work well, too. Uh, if, if the water was a little bit stained from a lot of rain, folks, I would prefer to use the gold one. It, it would show up a lot better. But right now, a natural color, in my opinion, is gonna be the best. Let's make us another cast right here. Twitch. Come on. Twitch, twitch, twitch. And then a twitch, twitch, kind of mix it up. That makes that bait look real. Artificial baits like this, you have to use your imagination to make them look real. What's going to happen is a good bass is going to grab it. What we got right here, though, this is a good fish right here. It's not a bass, though. I can tell that. It's a good fish, though. Real good fish. Oh, my, 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 my. Look what we got, folks. Come on in here. I want you to look. That is a giant red breast sunfish. That's the biggest one I've caught in a long time. That thing is way bigger than my hand. Look at there. Quit! You're gonna get a hook in me, baby. I'm gonna let you go. I wouldn't hurt you for nothing in the world. I guarantee you that. You're too pretty. You talking about busting a bait. Ain't that something? Go on back. I tell you, this is a good alternative to fly fishing. Uh, if you're not really that big into a fly rod, this light line and little baits like this, well, it'll get the job done. No doubt. 
lot of fun. All right, what I'm going to do is retie this knot right here, and we'll walk on up. But I got them all right here, or all the active fish. Here's another one of my favorite creek baits right here. This is a Zoom Super Fluke, and I've done a little painting on it. It was a pearl color. I painted it, or dyed it, to look like these the natural forage that's in this creek. I have a leader right here about two feet long. It's a floor carbon leader. I've got a three-out hook, Gamakatsu hook, and I have tied on the, the eyelet a loop knot. And I'm using 10-pound test braid. Okay. And I have Palomar knots on the connections on this little bitty swivel. Now, I thought I seen a bass. Let's make a long cast out there. Now, I'm working this. There he is. There's a bass. I knew I seen a bass out there. I'm working this bait fast, too. Pretty good little creek bass right here. I'm working it quick because, folks, the water is real shallow. And I don't want them to get a real good look at it. All right, let's flip him in here. That's a pretty good fish. Pretty good one. Uh -huh. God, he's caught all kinds of ways. Look, look here. He's caught right here, and that was the initial hook set. What he'd done is he'd twisted around real quick and that hook went through the top. Ain't that something? That was an aggressive bite. He's got a little something wrong with his gill there. Large mouth. He's pretty. Let's see if we can get him off. Right here without hurting him. Ah. Let's get her pliers right here. I've never really caught one scissored like that before. But that fluke right there is another natural bait. I've never seen a creek that a fluke would not catch a bass. Beautiful fish. Let's let him go right here. There he goes. My goodness. Like I said, there's a lot of baits I like to use in creeks, but I guess these two right here are my favorite too. It's hard to fail with these two baits here, in my opinion. It's hard for me to fail. Now, a regular pearl would probably do the trick. That's just me. I just went through a little extra and made it look about the same color as these minnows that's in here. Oh, man, you're talking about some cold water this morning. Tell you what, folks, there ain't many places on earth that you can go that is this pretty. This is beautiful right here. Beautiful. Words won't describe it. Perfection. That that that's the best word. Only one word. Perfection. Shh, shh. Did you hear that? Hell mo. That was wood knocking. There ain't nothing around that makes a noise like that. Right in there, there's some doggone wood knocking going on. Them things is are watching us right now. Let's get out of here, man. Don't wipe this. This ain't no count. <laughs> Try one right there. Oh my goodness, that was a mule. I seen that. Look here, he come back and got it. 
come back and got it. What have we got though? It's a good one. It ain't a bass, but it's a doggone good fish right here. Look here. Oh my goodness. Look at this, folks. <laughs> Woo! I want you to look at that. Diggum. That is a big one. That is, or possibly is, the biggest red breast sunfish I've ever caught. Oh, I don't want to lose him. I want to unhook him. I want my bait back, is what I want. Golly, mom. That is a big one. Really, to tell you the truth, I thought it was a bass when he hit it. Folks, I mean, he hit it. All right, quit. No harm done. That's a good one. More than a good one. It's perfection. <laughs> there it goes. Oh no, there's another good one. I think this is just a big green sunfish, folks. Look at him. He had a sluggish fight to him compared to them red breast sunfish, but he's a good one, ain't he? Look at there. My goodness, it's a fish. Let's get her plars out, get a hold to him. I found a little area right here that's got a lot of fish in it. Now I'm hoping for a good bass. They're all good bass, but beautiful, ain't he? Let's let him go there. He took a dive. A lot of fish right in here. I'm thinking the, the bass is probably going to be down that way. <clears throat> boy, boy. That one's got some shoulders on him. Got some shoulders. I want y'all to look. My goodness. Ain't that something else? Look here, that's a giant. That's a big red breast. Look at there. Huh. I don't know. I have no idea why Elmo ain't here. It makes no sense to me, folks. That good Elmo, he's sitting there. He likes a little house on the prairie. Okay. And he likes the Waltons. And I do too. Nothing wrong with the Waltons, but he don't... I don't know. That's all I'm going to say about it. Bless his heart. Go on back in there. Went right back there on that rock, didn't he? Good one, folks. That's a good one. That's got to be a small mouth right here. Yeah. Jumping like that. Pretty good small jaw, too. Now, if you notice, there's another fish right under him. Dead gone. He'll quit. We'll talk about it. <laughs> that fish hammered that. That fluke. Hammered it. Okay, quit. My goodness. 
no wonder. It's a good bass right here. That is a chunk, now ain't it? Good fish. For a creek, that ain't no doubt. But the key to me, <clears throat> let's get him un undone right here. Let's talk about it. That's a good small mouth. Let's let him go. Go on back. Now the key right here in this in this fluke, I believe is the loop knot. This is floor carbon line, so them fish can't see the knot. It gives that bait a real wide sweep. And, and uh, in clear water like this, as soon as that bait hits, I start working it and quick. I don't want them to have a good look at it. And I catch a lot of fish that way. All right, let's see if we can catch another. Y'all see that? There's another good one right here. That fish clobbered it. Clobbered it, I'm talking about. Boom! That's got to be a small jaw. Look at him. Taking off like that. Golly, that fish. Look at this. Y'all see this? I'm going to have to go down there and get him. I know he's stuck good. I stuck that fish. Look, he's tore. That is the meanest fish. When it comes to bass, is a small mouth not the meanest of all fish or bass? Look here. Golly. Now that's a beautiful small jaw right here. Let's take a look at him. Look at there. Look at those pretty markings that fish has got. Whew. Folks, there's nothing like the sport of fishing. Nothing like it. The fluke has struck again. Let's let that pretty fish go. The only thing wrong with him, he's got a sore jaw. I mean, look. Yeah. Going back. Alrighty, folks, that's going to be about the end of it. Caught a lot of fish today. Two different baits. Um, these two baits are definitely my, probably my best uh, baits. Um, I have the most confidence in these two lures than, than any others. A lot of other baits I like to fish in creeks, but when you have a creek that's as clear as this one and the ones around um, here, those two baits seems to shine. Uh, and I'm going to thank y'all very much for watching all the great comments. And I appreciate y'all spending the day with me out here fishing, even though it was just a few minutes. And, hey, whoa, did that make sense how I said that? Sometimes it's hard, folks. Hey, whoa. Whoa. Hey, man. And remember, go fishing when you can, for cause it's good for you. You hear that? There ain't nothing I know of that sound like that, man. There's something going on in this wood.